my noble band of outlaws, Outlaw Samurai, coming at you live with a video. Well, I just had a thunk. Yeah, you can see the smoke coming out of the back of my head, can't you? <coughs> that was me doing a very poor, like, Looney Tunes, uh, car s starting sound thing. Anyways, uh, there's this whole argument online about, uh, People buying a sword and they buy it for a lot of money. Say a five hundred dollar sword. So you buy a five hundred dollar sword from a website like Cult of Athena or something, and uh, you've done research on it. And the research, you come across a comment that says, "Oh, you're not paying. It's like you're not paying for the uh, whole sword. You're just paying for the blade." And it's like. Yeah, no. Okay, if you pay $500 for a sword, you're not just paying for the blade. It's not like they just forge a sword and then they slapstick a bunch of uh, low quality shit onto it. Uh, no, you pay for the whole thing. You pay for the sword, you pay for the uh, Suba, the Fushira, the Kashira, the Ito, the Samegawa. The Saito and the Saya, not Saito, but uh, and I know I threw a lot of Japanese w terms all in there at once. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to explain it. It's like midnight and yeah, I'm just fuck it. But uh, in any case, with that in mind, I hear this argument, and uh, Backyard Samurai thinks said something about it as well. But, uh, I hear this argument, and it's like, now, you're not just paying for the sword blade. I mean, you can go to, I think you can go to Cult of Athena, I haven't checked in a while, but I think you can go to Cult of Athena, type in Bear Blade onto the search bar, and you get a whole list of, like, just sword blades. I mean, they're just, like, blades with no fittings. In, in that instance, yes your comment would be valid. This random ass dude's comment would be valid. But it's like you're only paying for the blade because you are only buying a blade. A bear blade is for like a uh, customized shit where it's like uh, you want to buy the sword blade but then you want to uh, make basically you want to basically customize it and either make the rest of the fittings or buy different fittings and uh tweak them a little bit to make them fit on the sword. And I hear this uh, argument and it's like, what the fuck, you're not just paying for the blade if it's a complete sword. Granted, a shirasaya, it basically means naked blade or bare blade, but still, you're not just paying for the shirasaya blade, you're also paying for the wood, because you can always just go over and lacquer the uh, Saya part, you can always just go over and lacquer the Shirasaya seat. The blah, blah, can't talk. The Shirasaya sheath or scabbard, and then uh, shorten the uh, suka, and then put the sepa, the suba, and wrap it, and boom, instant katana. But. I just don't get this argument about... Okay. Iron Tiger. The, like, that's... Like, Iron Tiger Forge. Uh, it's a brand you can get on Cult of Athena. They make katanas. And it's like, uh... Urgh, short... I'm gonna act like a short snob. And it's like, Urgh, you're not buying the Iron Tiger sword for, uh... The fittings and all that uh, blue. You're just paying for the blade. Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm, yes. See, my Albion's on the wall. Mm, I have Albion, so I'm better than you. It's like, bitch, I got Hanway. Let's do this shit. <laughs> bitch, I got a Masio Bowie knife. Let's just, let's just do this shit. <laughs> Could you imagine someone kicking the ass off? In a cutting competition with a Masio Bowie knife and a motherfucker using an Albion, <laughs> that shit would be 
<coughs> that, that shit would be funny. But no. Swords Knob, motherfucker, is wrong. And I know I'm uh, basically getting to the R-rated uh, cussing here. But frankly, I don't give a damn. If I offend you, it's like... I'm like my father. If I offend you, I frankly don't give a damn. Because it's my opinion. If you don't want to listen to it, stop the video here. If you do want to listen to it, continue. Just so you know, if you continue past this point, you are not a pussy, in my opinion. Again, I don't care about offending you. But, here's the thing. I'm brutally honest. I don't sugarcoat shit or anything. The pure fact that you are stating that you are buying a completed sword with the scabbard, uh, you are buying a complete sword with the Saya, the Se the uh, Segeo, the Sepa, the Habaki, the Suba, the Fushira, the Kashira, the Ito, the Samegawa. You are buying the whole sword for that $500. You're not just buying the blade alone. You are buying the whole sword. You are also buying the craftsmanship and the time that it took to forge that sword. Especially if that sword was handmade. You are paying the swordsmith for his hard work and dedication to giving you a good sword. So if you're one of those guys who says that you buy a sword for $500, $300 and you say uh, you're only buying the sword blade, you're a fucking prick. You're a cock-sucking prick. There's no nice way to say this. And you should just shut the fuck up. Again. I'm not going to sugarcoat any of this shit. If you've done it, you know who you are. And frankly, if you don't like it, kiss my ass. Or just don't subscribe to me. But that's pretty much what I just wanted to say. So, until next time, and before I start really cussing, Outlaw Samurai tells all y'all be crazy rednecks, be safe when using your weapons, and yes, when you buy a complete, when you buy a fully furnished sword for $500, you are not just paying for the sword blade, the fittings, you are also paying for the time and consideration and skill that went into that sword. Think about that. I'm out. Peace.